Today I am hauling my little heifer calf. Uh, she's just a few, several months old. I'm hauling her to her new owners uh, in Odin, Arkansas. They are very excited about raising a milk cow, and this will be their first one. And her name is Magnolia. She was born last November, first week in November, and this is the second week in uh, June, so she's however old, you do the math. Again, we're taking her to their farm. They have a, from what I hear, a beautiful farm, and I've seen pictures of their old barn. It's an antique, and it's in good shape. It still has the original hay trolley in it. I hope to get some pictures of that. And, as, as I said, they live in Odin, Arkansas. I got a story about Odin, Arkansas, I've heard. Way back in the uh, mid-1800s, I think it was 1848, they tell a story of a wagon train that was traveling cross-country from Mississippi to California. Several families, probably more than a dozen, and they loaded up their wagons and they were pulled by oxen. It was an ox team wagon train. They were on their way to California. I'm assuming uh, part of the gold rush. I don't know. But they were, I guess, tired of farming, wanted to seek their fortunes on the other side of the nation. So they set out and they crossed the Mississippi, probably on a ferry back then, and they made it into eastern Arkansas, which during that period of time, of course, most of Arkansas was unsettled. So they the eastern half is very, very flat and very, very swampy. So they got lost over there in the swamps of East Arkansas, probably around rising below Pine Bluff. Finally, after weeks of going round and round, they made it out to more of a southwest Arkansas, kind of over here where we are, about Arkadelphia, I believe. And they kept on going about a day or two further and they made it just north of here where we're headed. And they got to a fork in the road. And at the fork in the road, there was a sign. Well, nobody in the whole wagon train could read. So they, wouldn't, they didn't want to take any, they didn't want to lose any more time getting to California. So they thought, well, we'll just wait here a while, camp out here at this crossroads and wait for somebody to come along who can read the sign. And so they, unloaded and camped out for a while and they waited and they waited a couple weeks went past and nobody even came by so finally after another week or two a traveler came by and they said can you tell us what this sign says and he didn't know how to read either we're in Arkansas so they decided well we'll just uh We'll just wait here a little while longer and wait for somebody else to read. So they waited weeks and weeks and weeks and started getting a little comfortable. Said, you know what, maybe we should plant a little garden here and plant some corn. At least by harvest time we can take some of that with us. Finally, harvest time came along and finally somebody who could read the sign stopped in and told them what the sign said. But by then, they had such a good crop of corn, they figured, well, this looks like a nice place to live. So they settled the town of Odin, Arkansas. <laughs>